everybody and welcome and we're gonna get straight into it now because I've done exactly what I said I was gonna do on the last video by moving these windows in and I've moved them in by four bricks now this is how it looks now and this is how it looked before and you have to agree it looks a lot better this way so what are we going to be doing well to start off with we're going to be starting to fill this front area in uh, to make it more bond damaged but if I can take this apart without creating too much devastation just get my big hands in there I'll do it by section take the top section off and the next section right as you can see I've got my little vehicle inside here now I want to really sort of like make this uh, sort of understandable how the vehicle got in because they wouldn't have just you know half inch here half inch here and backed it in they would have wanted uh, to literally drive in and get in position so what I've decided to do after a long discussion in the hangout I'm actually going to take this back wall out uh, if drop the camera down a little bit I'm actually going to blow a hole in this back wall and then what I can actually do is push that tank that way and push all the hardcore to the front to make it more sort of feasible that the tanks actually come in and pushed its way into the building and is going to sit there in in sort of ambush so that's what we're going to do so I'm just going to move a few things around and we'll get on and we'll knock a hole in the back wall so we're on to the back wall now I've removed everything and I am not going to be subtle about this. What I'm going to do is, well, try and break this wall the best way I can. I'm going to have to start from the top, take that out, and we're going to have to just break it down like so. It proved to be a lot tougher than I expected. Destroy it to make it look realistic. And this is only a one take. I can't do this again. So. That will do me nicely. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my little saw and I'm just going to cut these bits back and well cut all the, bro the broken bits off so it leaves it in a uh, a, a more uniform uh, end uh, for the bricks so I'm going to get on with that uh, I should be back with you in a few seconds now if you remember on the last shot all this side all broke away so what I've done I've taken it away and I've used uh, my little saw uh, file and a scalpel and I've just cleaned out all the half bricks now I'm up to the top here this is the next bit I'll be working on and I'll just be sawing these bits out and making them like full bricks so it looks like they've been actually been pushed through instead of being blown up or anything like that so I'm going to carry on now and clean all these up and the same with the bottom I'm going to be doing all this bottom piece here, cleaning them all out because I am going into the hangout just to say hi to the lads and I will be doing this as I'm having a chat with them. I'll be cleaning all this through and up and also what I'll be doing as well is I shall be gluing the glass into this window. I'll be putting the glass in, I want to glue that nice and tight against that edge and then break the whole lot off so we've just left with the edge of the frame 
and hopefully some little bits of uh, glass as well sticking out that will all go inside uh, with everything else that's been broken down I will use that as a good base uh, and make sure it's all pushed forward uh, as the vehicles sort of uh, pushed in pushed into the building uh, the lintel at the top here I think I might be just pushing that through as well and, and the same with the sill so they'll be inside somewhere it's all going to be taken up and over uh, and like I say I'm just going to be cleaning different bits and pieces just trying to get that uh, broken shattered effect uh, of a wall so I'm going to get on with that so I'm going to disappear in now into the hangout and see the lads and hopefully the next shot is going to be all this completed so there you have it uh, it's been all shaped up it's about 95% there got to come back because I use white panels inside and they're sort of showing so I've got to sort of color them down a little bit and do a little bit of uh, uh, feckling should I say but that doesn't concern me at the moment the main hole has been done it's like I say 95% there and that will come in when we start doing the weathering so from there we're gonna move to the front back round to the front now I'm going to need to try and get some sort of staggered uh, brickwork up round to the windows then coming back out again not uh, a nice smooth curve but quite jagged so what I'm going to be using are these these are the I'll get it in shot these are the little brick piers now the reason I'm using these is because you can actually uh, break them into bits and they're already, instead of having to cut out with a scalpel and Stanley knife, we can actually fit them together and get, that's not a very good example, Donna. we can actually get that sort of uh, staggered brick effect going up. So we can just put little bits in and stagger them in and out. So what I'll be doing, I'll be starting from this bottom bit and I'll get so much done and then I'll come back and you can have a little look okay I've filled in uh, from this step now this, I put the step in just as a reference point for me I've worked all the way back filled the, the side of the window in and the piece above the window now I'm quite happy with that and I've brought this little wall up higher because I'm going to take this side up exactly the same and hopefully we can get this just sort of protruding out of the uh, all the hardcore and rubble that's going to lay in the front and at the back so I'm going to carry on now and I'm going to build this up exactly the same way using these little tiny uh, brick piers just breaking them up and gluing them together so I'm going to build that back up once I get that built up I should come back to you I built this side up uh, that is as high as it's going to go because we're going to be breaking this window out for the actual barrel of the gun to have a good uh, field of fire should we say also what I've done I've actually put some of the glass in ready to be broken out at a later date now for those who don't know what I actually use I use the microscope slides they're very thin very fine and they are glass there is a video uh, on the channel uh, about how to use them so I won't go into too much detail over that so all the glass is in ready to be broken out now what I want to do now is I'm gonna stop building because what I'd like to do is I want to strengthen up these actual uh, joints I want to strengthen them up for a couple of reasons is the first reason is that it's going to allow me to slot the actual uh, top well should I say the first floor to the second uh, to the ground floor and I'm a little bit concerned that if I just use the actual pl uh, plaster sheets or just the bricks they're going to be a little bit too brittle uh, and I can see a lot of breakages uh, occurring on taking this apart so I've gone out and got some uh, Thin styrene. 
Now this is uh, 0.75 thickness, which is the exact size of my plaster sheets, which is great. And this is 6.3 wide. And that is the actual wide of the actual stone uh, that I'm actually going to use. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue that over one course above and so it hangs one course below. Now I'm going to do that if it keeps in shot. I'm going to do that all the way around here, all the way around the back to where the extension's going, and from the other side of the extension all the way around. And if it will go all the way around, and that's pretty good, all in one shot, across this far gable and back round to the front. I'm not going to finish it directly there, it's going to come back here a little bit because uh, I'm going to allow the breakages of the plaster coming around this way so I'm going to get on with putting this on when I've glued it all on and finished it I'll come back to you and we'll move on to the next bit I have glued that little plastic strip all the way well not quite all the way around but it runs all the way across the gable ends and I've glued it to the bottom not to the uh, next floor the simple reason being this is going to make this a lot stronger being at the bottom and it's easier to seat things in than it is to try and set things over the top of it. So I've done it on the back as well, on this back section. I've left this section because the extension goes on here. And this bit here, well, I've still got a little bit of uh, jiggering around to do with that. We've got it across the far uh, gable end as well, and two little bits on the front. And if I can do this without knocking the camera all over the place, bring this piece in. So that now sits nice and neatly on there, as you can see. Now, my plasterboard sheets, like I say, are exactly the same thickness, so that's going to give us that nice finish. And then with the uh, brick or stone or whatever I decide that will go onto the plastic strip and it will cover all them nasty joints up so that is the next bit we're going to be getting on with now I'm going to reposition the camera uh, because I'm going to start putting some plasterboard sheets over this area and well actually I'm going to run it all the way around this bottom section and I can get this bottom section sort it out before I move on to the next section. So now we move on to actually putting some of these little plaster sheets up on the wall. Now there's many ways you can do it. The way I prefer to do it is a technique called dots and dabbing. Uh, and that's a building <laughs> technical term for when we used to put plasterboard directly onto brick walls. We used to use an adhesive and we used to dot and dab and it literally means that is to put dabs of glue on the back of the plaster. Now you can say well just paint it all over but I found that by dotting and dabbing it it allows you when it's dry to actually get your scalpel into the plaster and break pieces off and you get more of a realistic effect. Now I'm going to start from this far corner, like so, push that on nice and tight, so that's the first piece on. Now I'm going to be working across, I'm just going to be cutting pieces, uh, I do use a file a lot of the time just to uh, do little corners and edges uh, because this these plaster sheets they do I've got a tendency of just breaking in all different directions even though you're careful but don't worry about it because all them little bits can be put in and it forms cracks and it gives an authentic look so I'm going to carry on now I'm going to move across and sheet all this in and I'm going to make sure the sheets are longer than the actual brickwork so I can actually get in there with a scalpel and break back and show the brickwork out. So I've totally covered this area here as you can see 
and also I've done one part of the gable end. Now it needs to be totally dry before we start breaking this off and start playing about with it. So I'll be leaving this side but I will be continuing on with this side and the other gable end. As you can see it's not been done yet. So I'm going to carry on and get this the whole bottom area all uh, boarded out and uh, then when it's all dry I should come back to you and we'll start breaking the plaster off to try and reveal some of this brickwork. Now as you can see I've started to chip away at the plaster because this part is totally down to your artistic license because I can't say you've got to do it this way or that way you, all you've got to do is keep your scalpel and start pulling bits off uh, as much or as little as you want and doing that uh, dot and dab it allows you to get in there and pull the plaster off the wall revealing the bricks and that's about as much as I can actually show you on that because that bit is all down to you and how you want to do it so I'm going to carry on chipping this uh, plaster off and trying to get somewhere to the effect that I want and once I've done that I should come back to you and let you have a little look and uh, then we can move on to the next bit. I've uh, done quite a bit of chipping away I've also sanded uh, this area here and I'm quite happy with it. Now I really need now to move on and get this top half sorted out so I can really get this front finished off but we won't be doing it on this video because yet again time has run away with us but next video we will be doing uh, the top half getting that all boarded in and also we'll be looking at uh, putting the either stone or brickwork on these joints and down the ends of the building and that will be on the next like I say on the next video and all I can do now is say thank you very much for joining me hopefully we will see you on the next one until then